Okay, so for the millionth time and the absolute last time I will try this, here we go. <clears throat> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and uranium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, and erysium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, latitium, and vanadium, lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium, gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's tetrium, and tinium, and tinium, and rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, and iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, rubber, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Tricky part. <clears throat> There's homium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorescent francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and lindenum and magnesium, diprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium, lead, phrasodemium and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. <coughs> The sulfur, californium, and fermium, bacillium, and also mendelivium, and steinium, nobilium, and argon, kryptonium, radium, zinc, and zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard. Now there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. Boom. Did I do it? I, I think I did it.